Hey Cancer, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to a general message here. So we're going to see what's going on for you guys. What do you need to know? Okay, so Cancer placement, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. This is your reading. Um, any other placement that's Cancer that may resonate for you is fine as well. Like if you're like a Cancer Saturn or your Jupiter is in Cancer and this resonates for you, awesome. So Cancer, let's take a look at the messages you need at this time. Um, what do you need to know? Death. Okay. So something is ending. All right. I feel like you tried to stop something from ending, but I feel like, um, this is something that can change your life for the better. Something ending is changing your life for the better because look at that momentum. Something accelerates as soon as this ending happens, okay? And so what I'm getting for you guys is that um, there's a situation in your life that feels like it needed to be over. It feels as if it needed to have some sort of solid conclusion. And with death, you get that. You get the finality you need. Now you can move full steam ahead. Eight of Wands here and the Knight of swords or now someone can move full steam towards you okay so i do feel like what's been happening some messages have not been able to get through um this can be symbolic or literal but somebody hasn't been able to like clear the air say what they needed to say there's a knight of swords here maybe a gemini a libra a, um, aquarius but the energy is that now this person can come in um i feel like you guys maybe had a, a capricorn in the way I mean, not a Capricorn, well, maybe, but a, a Scorpio. Let's see what else is coming through. Yep, the tower. All right. Something is um happening very fast. King of Wands. Let's see what else comes through. The Page of Wands. Definitely communication and messages are coming through. And the emperor. Okay, so you have at least two strong masculine energies showing up. Um, I think there's something about you guys knowing that something was about to happen with the high priestess and you're right about it or you will be right about it. Um, but I feel like there's energies here. Your message is that um, because you have been trusting your intuition to guide you about something, it does feel as if something is about to have some momentum. I do get the energy cancer that there is a masculine wanting to message you wanting to communicate with you this person has been shaken up in some way okay the tower and so I feel like that is what is getting this person to finally say something getting this person to finally speak up they're not shy they're king of wands energy they're very vibrant they have a lot to say. They're very confident about their their what they, whatever it is that they do say. So basically, someone is about to tell you something that feels like it could shock you, but it's not because the high priestess is saying you knew this is what was coming. What's death here? The world double ending okay so death is here with the world that's a strong confirmation that it's really important that something ended okay um i'm not seeing a bit grieving or mourning process here so this doesn't feel like a literal death this doesn't feel like an ending that um is something that you're taking hard it does feel like something that is moving you forward okay that's exactly what it looks like um and so i do feel as if an ending that took place may not have even happened on your end what i'm getting is that someone is actually able to take action towards you there's the ace of swords communicate to you bring you clarity because something has stopped something has ended that was necessary in order for this person to come in with some communication that feels like it's a um it, this is a big deal I'll, I'll say that i'm gonna see what this tower is um it doesn't feel bad but it's it's a big deal that's for sure okay there's the devil so i feel like this person um, is coming through wanting to I feel like they want to tell you they cleaned their act up they got themselves together it could even be a father figure 
I'm not necessarily picking up romance in this energy. The three of wands, but this is somebody who feels like they want to tell you they've cleaned their act up here. This is the energy of somebody who has been struggling. This is somebody who has been going through a lot. And it seems as if um, they may have had maybe a near-death experience. Um, this person has possibly found um, some sort of inspiration in in feeling like they have a future, they have actually something to, to live for. And so this person does feel like someone close to you who's trying to get closer to you to tell you that they've had some sort of glow up. The King of Wands, all right? Who is this person? They treated you very badly at some point, the Hierophant. Someone you're very strongly connected to. Someone I feel you helped out a lot. Six of uh, Pentacles you gave money to. This person has a very strong connection to you. They may say something like they found religion or they're more spiritual. Um, <clears throat> what's the Eight of Wands here? Thank you. It's the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Oh yeah, they're afraid to tell you the truth, which is... What's this Ace of Swords for Cancer? Ace of Wands. <laughs> you thought it was over with this person. And this is like a masculine energy for most of you coming in. Um, this person is going to be somebody that feels like they've gained a little weight or they've gotten muscular. Something about their build, their frame has changed and you haven't seen them in a long time. They have had a death experience, okay? That could be a near-death experience that changed them and made them want to live life better, healthier, or they have had um, a, a change in their perspective where it feels as if this person's truth um, with that Ace of Swords is the Ace of Wands. I have a new lease on life. I have a new excitement. I have a new um, I have a new opportunity that I want to take the three of wands. This person seems to be almost obsessed with getting close to you. They're obsessed with this. Um, let me see what this higher font is before we, uh, hype this person up too much. Okay. What's this, uh, higher font about? It's the queen of pentacles. All right. So this is someone who you never lost touch with. I do feel as if, you had to take some sort of a break from them while they got their life together. And so this is a sign that they have. This person has every intention to come in, communicate with you about um, their money getting better. They're more financially stable. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, this person is not so much focused on just their looks and their style and superficial things anymore. This is somebody who was like always into like cars and just like things that you felt were like they were um, very minuscule. You wanted this person to focus on you and prioritize you. Um, this person may also say that a child has changed them. So their child, your child, page of wants here, they're inspired to live a better life, be a better role model. Um, the seven of swords. With the page of wands and the seven of swords, this person is going to deceive you about something. The three of swords. Okay. So some of the communication coming in from this very person is going to be about the fact, this is what you already know though. Remember, you were that high priestess energy. Um, th this isn't a person who feels, this is a person who feels like they're coming in. Their lies hurt them. Their lies hurt them too, more. They're owning up and taking responsibility for it. What's this emperor? Five of wands. Okay, so this is a separate energy because that king of wands is going to have to compete <laughs> with this uh, emperor for you, it looks like. What's the uh, five of wands? There's a competition here. You know what? I feel like... So what's happening is that you're entering a new cycle of your life where somebody is returning. The person returning is somebody that feels like they put you through a lot, but they have gotten better. I do feel like this person is coming in 
They didn't really give you any sort of warning or sign that they were going to be coming in because remember, this communication comes out of nowhere. And so that three of swords could be like a little bit of a broken heart because they're coming in to see somebody sitting in their spot, basically the emperor, the five of wands judgment, somebody who feels like they're ready to claim you, ready to be with you. So you've got two people here. <laughs> and you're in the hangman position. I feel like, um, okay, let's see. Where, what's the three of swords? It's the will of fortune. Now they have to wait their turn. What's judgment with this emperor and this five of wands, the knight of wands? And the knight of wands with all of this is not letting you go without a fight. So I feel like you have two people here. And to be honest, neither of them are probably new. Um, they're both probably people that you've had very um, interested in you romantically. It's just that one person has been more consistent lately. This emperor, maybe an Aries, maybe a Scorpio, maybe a Sagittarius. Um, I feel strong fire sign energy with both of these people. But um, I do feel the energy of somebody already here. They want to come in. But the disappointment is going to be on them because it feels as if things have changed. And you feel like you moved on a long time ago. This person is rushing in, feeling like they have to hurry up and get to you before someone else does. And it feels like they're already too late. <laughs> and they're coming in with communication that's real sweet. And it's real like things you've been wanting to hear from them. Let me just see what the world is with death and that could be your sign yeah eight of swords that could be your sign not to go backwards because i got death and the world here two like strong ending final energies this person put you through it they left you in a lot of mental torture uh the message coming through is don't forget that don't forget what they put you through because i also feel like someone here deserves you a little more this person may be a lot older than you the one that you're dealing with or the one that you could be about to deal with but these two individuals could clash for sure because both of them want you but it feels as if somebody has been more consistent with you some of you also this may not be about two love interests but one love interest and your father or father figure or someone very protective of you is like do not give that person another chance they don't want something serious with the knight of wands they just want to run in and out of your life so somebody here and you could be telling that person i know that as the high priestess so i'm actually looking at this nine of pentacles almost as your advice to either stay single or stay detached emotionally from any energy right now until you have more clarity on everybody's intentions because something is 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 about to get really complicated i feel you have like a bad boy bad girl type rushing towards you and i do feel like they're sending messages they're saying things that are really exciting to you but there's somebody here that's almost standing in the way of that like a caution um you know letting you know don't go back to that don't forget what they put you through okay so cancer that is what i have for you guys thank you so much for tuning in um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you were, um, if this resonated for you. And if you would like a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.